Washington, teachers don't need to be vaccinated for schools to safely reopen, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, but schools should oversee a host of other mitigation steps, including keeping students six feet apart inside classrooms. The CDC on Friday released highly anticipated guidelines for reopening schools that are still closed amid the coronavirus pandemic. President Joe Biden has repeatedly pointed to the guidelines as key to his goal of reopening the majority of schools within his first 100 days. The 35-page report says, vaccination should not be considered a condition for reopening schools for in-person instruction, but advises communities to consider giving teachers high priority in vaccine distribution. The recommendation on vaccines was widely expected after CDC Director Rochelle Walensky this month told reporters, vaccination of teachers is not a prerequisite for the safe reopening of schools. The guidelines also advise schools to keep six feet of physical distancing to the greatest extent possible. That's a more cautious recommendation than three feet of separation advised by the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. To promote six feet of social distancing, the CDC recommends strategies such as breaking students into smaller cohorts or pods, staggering schedules, installing physical barriers, particularly in reception areas, and limiting visitors. The guidelines are not federal mandates, but rather recommendations based on the best available evidence. In a press call, Walensky called it a roadmap for closed school to reopen. The report comes as many public schools, more than half according to some estimations, have already reopened while others, particularly in cities, remain closed. The CDC acknowledges many of the schools operating in-person learning are, in fact, doing so safely. Evidence suggests that many K-12 schools that have strictly implemented mitigation strategies have been able to safely open for in-person instruction and remain open, the CDC says. Evidence suggests K-12 in-person school attendance is not a primary driver of community transmission. And while children can be infected and get sick from COVID-19, evidence indicates that children are less susceptible than adults and may be less infectious, the report says. To mitigate the spread of the virus that causes COVID-19, the guidelines recommend universal and correct use of face masks, hand washing and respiratory etiquette, cleaning and maintaining facilities as well as contract tracing. The CDC suggests local officials confidentially provide information about people diagnosed to the extent allowed by privacy laws. Persons with positive test results should isolate, and close contacts should quarantine, the report says. Individuals should isolate or quarantine at home, not in school settings, and should stay home until CDC recommendations for isolation or quarantine have been met.